Good afternoon everyone, I am Rachel Juanillo and I am first year B Ed 1B, Bachelor of Elementary Education at Palawan State University, Rojas Campus. Today, I would like to share with you um, a specific artwork of Fernando Amorsolo entitled Planting Rice. First, who is Fernando Amorsolo? Sino nga ba si Fernando Amorsolo? Fernando Amorsolo is the most important artist in the history of painting in the Philippines. He was born on May 30, 1892 in Taco, Manila. Solo was portraitist and painter in a rural Philippines landscape. It has published that he painted more than 10,000 pieces. He is popularly known as craftsmanship mastery in the use of life. He earned a degree in 1909. He said that he had sad and gloomy paintings. Okay, guys, take a search ako. So, ang sabi to on, sa painting na ginawa pala ni Am Fernando Amorsolo ay has a relationship with him. He worked usually with the black people and various scenes of the Philippines. Um, Amorsolo painting are nationalistic, characterize emotions and feelings and experience. So, ngayon alam na natin kung sino ba talaga si Fernando Amorsolo. Sana po naiintindihan nyo ha? Um, ngayon naman ating pag-usapan ang isa sa kanyang mga nagawang The artwork is entitled Planting Rice by Fernando Amorsolo represent as its portrait something other than its forms. This painting as post of classification of painting genre as it's painted in contemporary life of the Filipino farmers in 1951. When it is was painted as they are engaged in their regular everyday occupation. There are numbers of farmers on the painting in the background. Tree and hills provide perfect mountain setting. Painting also portrays the uh, uh, provi shop setting in which the farmers wear traditional clothes for farming in until now has been used. The painting is very Filipino views of life. This aesthetic quality of painting related to the period where it was and now. We are all appreciating its beauty. Fernando Amorsolo used the backlighting technique is known chiaroscuro. Chiaroscuro, tandaan po niyo, chiaroscuro. In this painting, he is visually light colors. The color used were mostly pastel in nature. Low dark color. Pre, um, so, this painting produced a feeling of peace. Of the figures are outlined against the characteristics, characteristics blue and intensity light in one part of the canvas that highlighted the nervy routine. So this painting really connected with Fernando Amorsolo on his life way back on his lives on Camarines Norte. The life on his province, it is really visible on his painting because all on his work on the fixed Filipino and far used landscape sense, all of the object present in the painting show us a positive and harmonious relationship. Relating has the in, uh, underlying values and meaning, which are the endurance, hard works, nationalism, and lifestyle of the Philippines. Okay guys, um, hope you understand sa mga shinere ko po. At uh, sana po sa mga 
naintindihan niyo po, pwede niyo po siyang i-share sa mga kagaya, kagaya natin estudyante. Kasi, yung history po, history po ng uh, artist, um, ma-apply po natin yan sa ating buhay. Ayun guys, no? So, grabe, grabe, no? Napaka-creative ni Fernando Amorsolo. Kasi, naisip niyang i-paint ang ating kultura. Napagagaling ng kanyang ginawa. So, nakikita natin sa painting niya, bilang isang Pilipino, tayo ay lumaki at nabuhay sa ganitong lifestyle. So, guys, hanggang ngayon at sus at sa susunod na henerasyon, ito at ito pa rin ang ating uh, ang ating hahanap. Masasabi ko lang guys na ang mga farmers ay napaka-responsible sa buhay. So, napakasipag nila. Ganon din sa ating mga magulang guys. Sila ay lumaki sa ganitong pamumuhay at ating tangkilikin ang kanila at ating kinagisnan guys. So, ayun. Marami tayong natutunan and thank you for watching. And once again, I am Rachel Nolasco Anillo from um, B at 1B, first year at Palawan State University at Ross Campus. Hope you understand guys. Thank you! With you, I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the...